Just when I thought that things were looking up to the sky, this happens. My life is a comedy and the jokes write themselves. <laughs> that's the only reasonable explanation for the horrible thing that's just happened. Out of everything that could have gone wrong, why did it have to be this one? Weddings are always stressful, and I now have to deal with the uh, crying bride. See, this was not how I thought I'd be spending the few days before my wedding. You must be wondering uh, what great catastrophe has happened that warrants such a panic. Eh, nothing too big. Except my 19-year-old sister throwing my fiancé's wedding gown into the pool. I know, right? I mean, what the actual hell? What could possess her to do such a thing? Everyone's wondering that, but I can't question her, because her parents are protecting her. After my fiancé had a few choice words to say towards her, she ran away crying. So yet again, she's not facing the consequences of her actions. Young people these days baffle me. If it had been me who did such a horrible thing when I was growing up, I would have paid. But no, my parents feel as if my fiancé shouting at my sister is punishment enough. It's a pity, because I feel differently. From the moment that Liberty met Maya, she's been nothing but rude and disrespectful. She thinks that she's the same age as Maya, and she treats Maya like one of her friends, not her future sister-in-law. Well, I'm 28, male, and I feel incredibly embarrassed that this is how Liberty is acting. Maya was already afraid about meeting my very large family. She comes from a very small family and is quite reserved. She doesn't talk a lot and is easily socially anxious. Before meeting my family for the first time, she was worried that people wouldn't like her much, but I reassured her. Okay, for a bit of context, I've been working overseas for five years now, which is how I met Maya, who was a local in the country I was working in. She was a colleague's sister that he set me up with, and from the moment I met her, I was completely taken. Her beauty, her smarts, the quietness were unlike any that I've ever seen before. We uh, did have a bit of a slow start because she was quite reserved, but once we got to know one another, things became quite easy. See, Maya and I dated for about three years, before we decided to get engaged. I met her family, which consists only of her parents and her brother, but she did, uh, well, only met my parents. It was her first time meeting my entire family this month, and we've already had our wedding in her uh, country. And it's now time for our wedding here. She was incredibly nervous about meeting everyone, but I assured her that they would love her. When she arrived, everyone wanted to spend time with her and ask her many questions. My four brothers and sisters completely doted over her. See, I have two sisters and two brothers. They're 31, 25, 19, and 15. In addition, my grandma and grandpa stay with us. My family's big, loud, proud. And yes, I love them a lot. But sometimes they can be too much. Before they met Maya, I told them to make her as comfortable as possible. This meant no silly pranks or extensive teasing. Growing up, pranks were pretty common in our family. It's our way of showing that we love each other. However, I understand that not everyone loves pranks. That's why I told my youngest siblings to lay it off when it came to Maya. She's incredibly sensitive and could easily mistake a prank for my siblings showing that they didn't like her. Now, I don't get why Liberty decided that it would be funny to take Maya's wedding dress and throw it in the pool. I was in an online work meeting when I heard the shouting from outside. I've heard Maya raise her voice very few times in my life. So, it was quite alarming when I heard shouting. I thought something was wrong, so I rushed outside only to see Maya red in the face and shouting at my sister. Words I never thought I'd hear from Maya were coming out of her mouth. She asked how my sister could be so stupid and told her that she ruined everything. I stood there at a loss for words. Clearly, what Liberty had done was very grave. Moments later, everyone else came out to investigate what's going on. That was when I saw the white dress floating in the pool. My heart stopped when I saw it and immediately I knew that Liberty had messed up. Out of everything that she could have done, that was the worst thing. Who in their right mind would throw a wedding dress in the pool as a prank? I was in a bad state. I understood why Maya was upset and eventually my mother came out and defused the situation. When she asked what's going on, Maya, with tears running down her face, pointed at her wedding dress. 
Even my mother was shocked at what Liberty had done and asked her if she was mad. Liberty said it's just water, it's not a big deal. It had uh, not been, well, just water. Well, maybe if it just was, fine, but this is pool chlorine. I don't know much about wedding dresses, but I'm pretty sure that's not good for the fabric, right? The look of horror on my mother's face confirmed that for me. She told Liberty that she was wrong and had to apologize to Maya. Liberty then asked why she had to apologize because Maya had overreacted. In fact, it was Maya who had to apologize because she was so mean towards her. Liberty got all worked up and ended up leaving because she was crying. I couldn't believe that she had the nerve to cry as if she were the victim. Poor Maya had just had her dream wedding dress ruined. and That was the real tragedy here, not Liberty's feelings. But I decided to deal with that later, see. First, I got Maya away from the scene and comforted her. We got the dress out of the water and my parents have sent it to the dry cleaners. They're certain that it can be saved. It better be saved because the wedding is in less than a week. Maya loves that dress and if she doesn't have it, we might have to postpone the wedding. This will put us behind because we need to be back in her country very soon. Maya has not been talking to me. She's just been crying. A, a poor woman is traumatized after what happened. I feel incredibly terrible, and I was very stern when I told my sister and brothers not to prank her like that. But Liberty did not listen. Besides, that was not a prank. It was an attack on Maya. I don't get why Liberty thought it was funny. I have not had a chance to speak to Liberty yet, but I've spoken to my parents. I told them that she was going to have to apologize for what she did. I don't care if her feelings are hurt right now because of what Maya said to her. She deserved that and much more. She's 19 years old now, not a kid. She should have known what is appropriate and what's not. Damaging someone's property is a crime. In fact, Maya could have be arrested for this. If that dress is not salvageable, then I'm uh, taking the money to replace it from her college fund. I wanted to go and confront her, but my parents are protecting her. They say that she has had a difficult year and is probably acting out. So I told him that it's their responsibility to ensure that she regulates her emotions. They should find a healthy outlets for her if she is stressed out. You know, ruining a wedding dress is not a way to deal with stress. Did she really think that Maya was going to find it funny? The worst part was uh, when she told Maya to jump into the swimming pool to retrieve the dress. The babysitter and I grew up with would never say such a horrible thing. That was incredibly vapid and cruel for her to do. Now, I don't get, uh, well, if it's a personal attack against Maya or if she's just being a little crap. You know, I'm so sorry I'm using strong language here, but, well, uh, I'm feeling angry right now. I promised Maya the best time in this country, and look what happened. My sister ruined her dress, and now I only have to look in her eyes. What am I going to say to her if that dress is not salvageable? These are supposed to be the happiest days of our lives, but now she's crying. I vowed to love and protect her at all costs, but I've not been able to do that. And our parents won't allow me to talk to Liberty so that she can apologize. So now I'm going to do my duty as a husband if I can't make the person making her cry apologize. I'm going to give her one night to think about what she has done. I've sent her a message that she hasn't responded to which is strongly worded. I told her to apologize uh, for my first thing in the morning and pray that the dress is not too damaged. If she doesn't apologize and the dress is damaged, she's going to see a side of me that she will not like. I don't care if she's my baby sister. She's crossed the line right now. She should know better, especially at her age. Anyways, I'll update you guys when I figure it out. Update number one, two days later. Hey everyone, I have an update. I took some time to read your comments and decided not to be too harsh on her. I decided to give her an opportunity to apologize to Maya while waiting for an update on her dress. The next morning, Liberty came down to breakfast and acted like nothing had happened. I thought that maybe she would approach Maya for a private chat later on, but she didn't. She and Maya completely ignored each other, so at least there was no more fighting. Seeing that Liberty was not going to apologize to Maya, I decided to talk to her. I told her that I was very disappointed in her behavior the previous day. 
This was uh, not how she had been raised, and she needed to do better. I told her that she hurt my feelings, and, well, that what she had done had grave consequences. If Maya's dress was not salvageable, it would affect the wedding. Her response shocked me. She told me that all I cared about was the wedding, and not how she felt. She told me how she felt inferior when Maya shouted at her, and she asked me how I could let Maya feel so small as an older brother. So then I told her that those were the consequences of the, her actions. She had made an even-tempered person see red. Tampering with someone's wedding dress should be a crime, is it not? No matter how much I tried to reason with her, she only became more upset with me. I started to lose my temper and walked away before I could say anything I regretted. As if to make matters worse, Maya came back from the dry cleaner soon after. My poor darling looked so crustfallen. She handed the dress to me and went back to our room and she didn't even have anything to say. It was ruined beyond repair. When I took it out, I could not believe the damage. My heart hurt because I could not do anything to ease her pain. Worst of all, my sister did not even apologize. I uh, felt like a failure in that moment, and I knew that I had to do something, and that was when I had a great idea. Since Liberty uh, didn't see why her actions were despicable, was it not my responsibility to show her? Without another word, I went to Liberty's room and removed her clothing from the hangers. I then took the clothing and threw them into the pool, and then I went about my day. Ten minutes later, Liberty starts to scream, and I did not even go to check what was going on because I knew. Maya wanted to go, but I prevented her. She asked what's going on, and I told her that now Liberty knew what it felt like to have something precious thrown into the pool. Now she would realize that it was not nice to treat people like that. Maya could not believe her ears and expressed that she really wanted to see what was going on. So she ran to the window and was overlooking the pool and watched the drama unfold. Liberty was a mess, crying and screaming at the same time, and I, on the other hand, felt nothing but peace. She wanted to play stupid games, so why was she a crying now that she got her stupid prize? She should have just apologized when we gave her the chance. Instead, she hid behind her parents' protection. She thought that she was untouchable, but it's simply not true. There's probably going to be a lot of backlash from my parents after this, but I don't really care. They failed to discipline her, so as an older brother, I had to do the work. She'll learn to respect other people's property next time. Update number two. Two days later. You guys have just been pestering me for an update, and I'm finally back with it. So, it's two days after I threw Liberty's clothes into the pool. Most of you have been dying to find out what happened afterward, and I have not had time to update you guys because there's been drama with a capital D at home. After Liberty discovered her clothing in the pool, she threw a huge tantrum. Immediately, she suspected Maya and came a knock in. As soon as Maya opened up the door, she tried to attack her. But Maya was faster and smaller and stronger. Maya swiftly moved out of the way and Liberty just straight up fell to the floor. I then asked her if she was not tired of embarrassing herself. Why was she angry now? Hadn't she been the one who said that it was just pool water? Now that her clothes were ruined, she had the nerve to be angry? She called Maya an evil witch, who could not even take a joke. And that's when I stopped her and told her that Maya did nothing. I was the one who threw her clothes into the pool, and at that moment she stood up and stormed out of the room. A couple minutes later, my mother sent a message asking to see me. So gladly, I went to my mother's room where she was waiting for me. My parents looked very, very upset when I entered the room. They asked me how I could behave in such a manner. They say that Liberty was a child and did not know better, but I did. Why did I have to throw her clothes into the pool? They told me that they had been handling the situation and getting her to apologize even though it was taking time. I told them I was not going to beg her for an apology. The best way to teach her was to show her how it felt. Besides, what was Maya to wait for a wedding now? Had they even thought about that? They said that we could easily rent something from the bridal store because it wasn't that serious. I laughed and said what was not serious was the fact that I was not going to be paying Liberty school fees anymore. Both of them gasped. My father asked if I was uh, overreacting, which did uh, such a small matter have to do with, well, schooling. I told him 
Oh, well, that this matter. It, it came to such a point when they took Liberty's side over mine. Despite all that happened, they refused to discipline their kid. My mother then asked how I would just act like this all because of a woman. She reminded me that family was the most important thing and we've always had each other's backs. I told her that Maya was now part of the family, which meant that they also had to have her back. Letting Liberty just bully her like this was simply not going to work. First it would be the dress, and next time it would be something worse. My sister would always disrespect Maya if we did nothing about this right now. I also told them to pay more attention to their daughter because she was acting out. I mean, clearly she was trying to tell them something and they couldn't see it. With that, I left and, uh, well, they were stunned. I've been going back and forth with my parents over the issue for the past two days, and I'm frankly tired of it. I'm not going back on my decisions. There's no way. I mean, I'm paying that disrespectful girl's school fees anymore. She has made her bad now, and, well, she's going to lie in it. Normal fancy private school for her now. Yeah. Update number three. One day later. Hey guys, it's been about a day later. Well, um, I wanted to give you an important update. After Maya's dress was ruined, I called an old friend of mine who is a designer. I told him the situation and asked if he would be able to salvage the dress. I gave him a generous incentive and said, well, that he would work on it. Over the past week, that good friend of mine has been working on Maya's dress. Well, uh, poor man has not rested in trying to recreate it. I'm pleased to inform you that Maya now has a wedding dress. She was so stressed over the past couple of days and was going to wear a rented dress. She said the rented dress was beautiful, but did not suit her style the same way the original one did. I'm so happy that my friend came through for me and fixed Maya's. And You know, when I actually gave her the dress today, she was over the moon. Unfortunately, I didn't see how the dress looked. I have to see it on the wedding day, which is in less than 48 hours. I can't believe it. We're finally tying the note to my home soil. It's such a pity that my family is not going to be there. My parents are not happy with me because I threw my sister's clothing into the pool and stopped paying her school fees. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm, um, earning a very good salary. So I've been paying for Liberty to go to private school, and she had to repeat a year at her previous school even. So I decided to enroll her in a much more private, secluded school. You know, she was actually the one who was begging me to do that, and told me that their teaching methods were much better. Well, her grades have definitely improved ever since she was sent to that school. However, her attitude has appalled me these days. I don't really think that she even deserves that opportunity after what she did to Maya. Uh, therefore, she's going to go back to public school. And I don't care if her grades are going to suffer for it at all. This is what she gets for being so prideful. You know... My parents have tried and failed to get me back to my decision. I'm, I'm sticking to it. In addition, they've been very, very angry at me. And because of how I reacted, they feel as if I'm putting Maya above them. And of course I'm putting my wife above them. It's not even about the fact that she's my wife. Come on, it's the principle. She nearly had the biggest day of her life ruined because of some stupid teenager. If it had been anyone else, I would still be very upset with my sister. Maybe I could have forgiven her if she had the decency of apologizing. But instead of apologizing, she's acting like a spoiled brat. She showed me an entitled side of her that I never knew. This is not the liberty that I grew up knowing. She's always been mischievous and but disrespectful. That's a completely new trait and I'm not ready for it at all. Well, anyways... I feel as if she needs to learn some character lesson. If she doesn't, then she's going to be chewed out in the inside world. If she can disrespect her sister-in-law like this, who's to say that she'll respect future employers? They're not going to be lenient as I've been towards her. They'll fire her, blackball her in whatever industry she becomes a part of, and this behavior, it seriously needs to be corrected while she's still young. Otherwise, she'll never make it in life. All of us would have never made it in life if we thought it was okay to play such cruel pranks on people. I get that we've played serious pranks on each other, but that's, well, family. 
We're used to each other and can handle it. Maya's not like that at all and should not have to come out of character because of Liberty's stupid actions. Maya had to be angry and say hurtful words that she never spoken before because of Liberty. That's the reason why I'm angry, and therefore the reason why my family is not coming to my wedding. Final update one week later. I had my wedding just a couple days ago, and it went without a hitch. I told security that maybe family was not allowed to be present beforehand. My older brother and sister were not present during the drama, so they were allowed to come to the wedding. The two felt as if Liberty was wrong, and I reacted appropriately. My parents would not let my younger brother come to the wedding, so it was just my two siblings. I gave an excuse as to why my parents did not come. I have no idea if the guest later found out why, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Maya and I moved out of the family house when I told my parents that they were not allowed to come to the wedding. My parents told me that I would regret my decision, as they wished I would come to my senses one day. They felt as if I had overreacted over something that could have easily been spoken about as a family. It's not like I was not willing to speak about what happened. I was willing as long as Liberty could take responsibility for her actions. Instead, she's hiding behind mom and dad. Therefore, uh, because they're enabling this behavior, I did not want them at my wedding. I didn't want any sort of negativity that would affect Maya, and she's been through enough. She's had to meet my big family and worry about impressing them. She's also had to deal with a disrespectful sister-in-law on top of the wedding stress. In addition, her wedding dress got ruined and she nearly had to wear a dress that she didn't even like. She probably hates my uh, country at this point and it's all their fault. Uh, they've been less than hospitable towards her all while trying to protect their daughter. That's my problem with my parents and that's why I took my darling Maya and checked into a motel. I've since stopped responding to my mother's text trying to get me to change my mind. I told her that I don't care what she has to say. As long as it's not an apology from Liberty, then she can keep it to herself. All I know is that I married the love of my life a couple days ago. She looked absolutely ethereal in her wedding dress, and the moment she walked down the aisle, my heart stopped. I could not believe how lucky I was to be marrying an angel. This smile on her face showed that she also felt beautiful in her dress. I couldn't believe that Liberty snatched that from her. Luckily... My friend came through and fixed the dress in time. After the wedding, we stayed at our motel for a couple days before heading back to her country. I've not forgiven my parents for taking Liberty's side, so I've not spoken to them since then and I've also stopped all payments towards Liberty's education. I know that my parents cannot pay for education and she's not smart enough to get a scholarship. I'm certain that in a couple of weeks she's going to transfer back to the public school. I hope that when she's back there, she'll have some sort of epiphany and realize that what she did was wrong. If she apologizes to my fiancé, she's currently going to be forgiven. Maya's much more soft-hearted than I am. All she needs to do is say sorry and own up to her actions, but that's not happened before. I might wait for forever, so I don't know. I'm just going to focus on my honeymoon right now. We have been having a blast, and I don't want it to end. It's like we're in a little bubble that nobody can burst. We have since forgotten all that happened back in my country. We've decided that we don't want to ruin the marriage. All we care about now is our future and the amazing plans that we have. There's so much that we wanted to do as a married couple, and I'm excited about this new journey that we're about to embark on. I truly feel that I've met my partner, someone that I can build with, and I can't wait for us to start a family one day. We're definitely going to make sure they're not as spoiled as my sister.